Okay. Number one says to draw a net for the cube shown and calculate its surface area. So think about, first of all, when you draw the net, how many surfaces does a cube have? Well, a cube has two bases and four faces, um, one face going around each edge of your base. Okay, so there's, we have a uh, square has four sides. There's going to be a rectangle um, off of each one of those four sides. And then your two bases. So six total faces. And it really doesn't matter how um, you draw the net. So I'm going to draw. Now it did say a rectangle off each base edge, but it is a cube, so it should have been squares. Eh. And that's a pretty large square. I'm going to draw this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to draw four squares. So I'll just leave that open-ended. So one, two, three, four. So here's my lateral surface. Okay, here's my four squares. And then I need two bases. So I'm going to add the bases um, off of this one. So here's a square, and here's a square. Now find um, its surface area. And in the reading, I know I show you the formula where for the lateral surface, you can do the base perimeter times the height, but real simple for surface area, just find the area of all your surfaces and add them together. So don't try to memorize that formula, and I should have taken that out of the reading. Simply find the area of each face and then add them together. So, and this one's easy because it's a square um, face, as our base, as well as all the faces, they're all squares. So it's going to be um, six faces times um, two times two, four, which is 24 square centimeters. The one below is going to be um, a little bit harder um, because they're not all squares. And I'm not going to use, to find the surface area of the trapezoidal prism, um, that lateral formula of base perimeter times height for the area. So I'm simply just going to find the area of all the faces and add them together because that's what I'd want you to do. Okay. Um, all right. So we have a total of six bases again because the trapezoid has four sides on the base, and we have a rectangle off of each one of those base edges. So I'm first going to find the area of a trapezoid, um, and I'm going to, which is the top and bottom. That's how I'm going to label it. The area of a trapezoid is one half. Uh, some of the bases. So I'll look at the bottom trapezoid as it has the height noted, and I know that this, because the rectangle is, if I look up, is congruent to 6 centimeters. So it's 1 half base 1 plus base 2, 6 plus 15 times the height of 6. So that's the same for the top and bottom. Okay, so half of 6 is 3, and then 3 times 6 plus 15, which is 21, is 63. I'm going to note the rectangles as front, back, left, right. So um, this left rectangle, it has the marking is 8 by, now all of them share this dimension here, the height, okay, so one dimension each of the rectangles is the same. That's why you can do the base perimeter times the height. Um, so this left rectangle is 8 by 12, which is 96, and as well as the right is the same. So right is 8 by 12, or 96. The front is 8 by 12. So the front is 15 by 12. Grab a calculator. 15 times 12 is 180. And then the back is 6. So the back is 6 by 12, which is 72. Add them up, 
So add all those surfaces together and you get a total of 570 square centimeters. So you can use that formula uh, if you're able to memorize it, but I would just encourage you to use um, that method. Find the area of all your faces, add them together. What's the volume of the prism? So this is an oblique prism, okay? It's tilted. The formula is still the same. It's still length times height. Find the volume of the rectangular prism in terms of x. So volume is length times width times height. So that would be x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x. So I'm going to multiply binomials, which means we need to distribute. Um, we get x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2. So combining that, um, the two middle terms would be x squared plus x minus 2. Then times the monomial x, distribute. Final answer is going to be x cubed plus x squared minus 2x units cubed. The back side. Find the volume of a triangular right prism whose base is an equilateral triangle with sides of 10 centimeters and a height. So the volume for the triangular right prism, it's always the area of the base, which is the triangle, times the height. So it's going to be one half base times height for the triangle, then times this H, which is the height of the prism. So there's two H's there. Um, but the H with one half base times height is the height of the triangle that's on the base, and the H um, in capital B times H is the height of the prism. So I'm going to draw an equilateral triangle. One, two, three. So all sides are 10, and I need, I'm going to draw the altitude because I need to find the height. And when you draw the altitude, remember, in any um, isosceles triangle, so therefore equilateral, it bisects the base. So this is 5 centimeters, 5 centimeters, and this is 10 centimeters. It also bisects your vertex angle. Um, so each angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, these two angles are 30. And the height in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, you see the 10, half a 10, 5, so this is 5 radical 3. So over here, the volume is going to be 1 half base. Okay, the base of our triangle is 5 plus 5 or 10. So 1 half times 10 times, again, this height is the height of the triangle, which is 5 radical 3, and then times the height of the prism, 15. So half a 10 is 5 uh, times 5, so 25 radical 3 times 15. And since it didn't say to uh, round, and it said to leave your answer in simplest radical form, we just multiply the 25 times the 15 to get 375 radical 3 cubic centimeters. Number 6, the surface area of a cube is 294 inches squared. So you can draw a net if you wanted to. Uh, remember from the front we have four, one, two, three, four lateral faces and two bases, and they're all squares. So the area of one is side times side. So if you think about just the formula, to get the surface area, we take side times side or side squared, then times six. So replacing the surface area with 294, and I'm going to put 6s squared, divide by 6, you get 49, and then square root, s equals plus or minus 7. So an edge of a cube of the um, solid is 7 inches. And then last, the volume of the cube. So the volume for any prism is area of the base times the height, and the base is a square. And to find the area of a square, it's like times width, or as we just shown above, side square, since the dimensions are the same, times the height. 
So volume is 1,000. And um, the height is actually, since all the dimensions are the same, another S. So S squared times S is S cubed. So on the calculator, there's a cube root, but, uh, cube root button under math. So we want to actually, instead of taking the square root, there's not much room between that and equal sign. You want to take the cube root of 1,000 and then the cube root of S cubed. Now, um, if you ended up with a positive cube, that means the S was positive, so here S equals um, 10. And the surface area now, surface area we just did above is 6 times 10 squared. Because each square, it's a 10 by 10. Uh, so the area of one square is 100. So 6 times 100 is 600. And our unit is square.